Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at the union operator in SQL. So what is a union? The union operator is used to combine the result sets of two or more select statements in a vertical fashion. So essentially you're taking one data set on top of another as long as they are structurally identical and just kind of stacking them on top of one another. This is not to be confused with a join since joins are simply horizontal connections. So then what is the union all operator used for? It's basically the same exact thing as the union operator but it allows you to include duplicate values. So if you have duplicate values as a result of basically unionizing the result sets the union all would allow duplicate values to show up whereas with just the union operator it would exclude duplicate values and only include distinct values. So there are some prerequisites to making sure that the union works properly. Um, again, all the queries we are using union on must be structurally identical. So essentially, each select statement, you know, it must have the same number of columns. Each select statement must have similar data types. And finally, the columns of each of those select statements must be in the same exact order. Because again, they have to be structurally identical. So let's dive into an example now. So we have our environment set up here in SQL Server. Um, we're gonna have we're gonna be using two tables. So we have the employee table, which, as you can see, it has three fields. It has the emp ID, the emp name, and then the emp supervisor ID. Um, we won't be using that third column, so don't worry about it. And then let's take a look at our second table, the contractor table. Um, looking at the contents, it has the contractor ID, which is the first column. Um, and then the contractor name, so essentially the name of the contractors. Um, what I'm trying to do in this example, guys, is show you, uh, you know, a particular use case for the union operator. So, um, in this particular example, let's say the way we store employment information within our database infrastructure, we might we might have a table for employees, and then we might have a table for contractors. And let's say I just want a report of you know all the resources that I have whether they're employees or their contractors um, and just sort of identify in that same report whether they're an employee or a contractor so so as of right now all that data is you know in two completely different tables and essentially what I want to see is an output in just one single data set of both my employees as well as my contractors um, but, you know, having the ability to identify whether they're employees or contractors. So what we're going to do here is very straightforward. We're just going to call um, from both of these tables the name of the resource. So in this case for the employee, it would be emp name. That would be one data set. And then I would, this is where I would put in my union operator because I want to union this data set to the contractor data set and let's go ahead and build that data set out so that's going to be the contractor name and if I run this I should get a list of you know both my employees and car uh, and contractors uh, stacked up against one another now obviously it's not easy here to identify whether they're an employee or a contractor and this is where I can go ahead and you know put an alias on each of these result sets to clearly identify which is which. So in this case I might say you know mark this as an employee or an M type um, and then in a similar fashion down here I could just flag this as a contractor and if I go ahead and run that again um, so again, the same the same result set, but now I can clearly see which employees are my contractors, which employees are my employees, if that makes sense. And uh, it's all in one data set, so that's exactly what you know we were looking for. So just to revisit those prerequisites, um, if you take a look, you'll notice that you know one we have the same number of columns in both of these data sets. Um, you know the order in which the columns with with you know the respective data types they're in the same exact sequence so they're two completely structurally identical data sets that we're able to union 
So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Hopefully it gave you a good understanding of how to use the Union and Union All Operators. Uh, please do give the video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. We have a lot of great content coming out. So uh, I appreciate your time and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you. Yeah.